This is Eric Chang. I'm going to show you how to cut down an immersive video uh, using Adobe Premiere and some other tools on a Mac. The reason you might want to cut down a video is, for example, to make a trailer. Uh, this, this piece I'm going to use um, as a sample is The Soloist, which is about 30 minutes for the first episode. And we want to pull out a 60 second fragment for some testing. So because there are, there's ambisonics, um, this one uses the two big ears format. So it's eight channels of spatial audio plus two channels of headlocked audio. And that's already been muxed in um, to the MP4. And it's pretty hard to work with directly in an editor. So we need to uh, extract those audio channels. And the way we'll do that is we'll run the extractor script, which is just some FFmpeg commands, uh, which I'll share in the text as well. So. We can do that on the command line. We're in this workspace here, and we, we want to run the extractor script and then the source file, which is an MP4. And it will run those FFmpeg commands and pull out the eight channels of two big ears formatted ambisonics and the two channels of headlocked stereo audio. And it, it does this pretty quickly. Again, this is a 30 minute source file, and it, it just finished. So now, in this folder, I will see I can see uh, the headlocked wave file, the TBE 8.2, which is 10 channels, and the TBE 8 channel file. We want to use the 8 channel file and the headlocked file when we do this edit. So we'll take the original video and those two audio files, which functionally are our new masters, and we will import them into Premiere. So we'll make a new sequence. And we will start from the VR presets in Adobe Premiere. Um, before we hit OK, we have to go to Settings, change the video resolution to match the source resolution, which is 5760 by 5760. And then uh, let's call it Solist Cutdown. We'll go to Aud Tracks. These are the audio tracks. And um, choose eight channels with the multi-channel mix. So the first adaptive track will have eight channels. And then this, for the second track, we'll choose standard, which is stereo. And for VO video, just verify that the horizontal view is 360 degrees, vertical is 180, and the layout is stereoscopic over under. Now you have to change this to match, uh, say, 3D 180. You know, you would change this to 180 and do side by side. But in this case, since we're working with stereoscopic 360, that is correct. I hit OK. Uh, and now we can drag in these these tracks. So um, you'll see the audio tracks are coming in with it. Uh, we don't necessarily need that. Um, but to make it easier, I'll modify the audio channels. And uh, it says there are 10 audio clips, but we want to do adaptive. And we have 10 channels per clip with one, uh, one audio clip. So now when we drag that in, it'll fit on one audio track. Um, but we don't need that. So remember, we have separated the eight channel uh, ambisonics and the two channel head locked. Uh, we could work from this 10 channel uh, track, but it would be more complicated. So I tend to pull them out before. So we'll unlink this and delete the audio track and then drag in the TBE eight channel. Oh, you see it's showing up as multiple uh, tracks. So first we need to go to modify audio channels and change the format to adaptive, and there are eight channels per clip and only one clip. So now when we drag that in, it fits on one track. And you'll see if we expand this down, uh, all eight channels are there. Um, and then this second track is a stereo, a standard stereo track, so we can drag the headlocked wave in there. Great. So now you can see when we start playing, you can probably hear the audio. Uh, the, the audio is probably coming mostly out of the left channel, uh, and that's because we haven't, like, Premiere doesn't really know how to deal with these ambisonics files, so don't worry about it too much. You can use it for your editing. So in this case, we will start, say, here, and uh, uh, just um, trim it this way, and then we want 60 seconds, so we can go to one minute in, That's one second. One zero 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 is one minute in. 
and um, just cut these with the razor tool, delete it, and we have our now we have our cut down. So you uh, again, there are two audio tracks. One has eight channels, and one has two channels, and uh, there's also this video. So now we have to export these, and we have to ex export them separately because we want the uh, audio track tracks and the video tracks to be separate so that we can pull them into FB360 encoder to do the muxing and metadata tagging. So we go to export and barely fits in the window. There we go. Um, and to save time, do I want to export as H.264? That might take a while on this video. Um, well, I'll cut it out if I do it. So let, let's select H.265. And uh, hardware encoding is probably not going to work. Well, I guess we can try it. Um, and then for audio, we do not want to export any audio. So this is soloist cut down. And we can put it in uh, this folder, exports. Okay, and we will queue that up. Just hardware encoding, oh, it doesn't work, right. It's too high in res, okay. Queue it up, and that will open Adobe Media Encoder. Okay, so that opens Adobe Media Studio, and you'll see that export we just kicked off. Now, we also want audio tracks. We can't just have the video track. So what we'll do is come here and make sure the headlock track is muted, which will give us the eight channel uh, ambisonics track is the only active audio track. So again, we do export, we choose waveform audio, 16-bit, uh, we'll call this soloist cutdown TBE8, and make sure we select 8 channel, and then cue that. And then we will do the opposite here, we will unmute the stereo headlock track and mute the ambisonics track. Again, do an export, I'm going to call this soloist cut down headlocked. And it's a stereo track, so just two channels. And cue that up. OK, so now in Media Encoder, the three are ready to go. I'll hit go, and we'll come back when, uh, when it's all done. This might, oh, look, failed. OK. I've had this problem a lot in Adobe uh, the Adobe exporter, it just it just fails. This is out of memory. This machine has tons of memory. I don't know what's going on. So let's reset the status, and we will change this to Adobe ProRes 422HQ, which is really fast to encode, especially on this M1 um, Max. Uh, again, un uh, uncheck audio and this soloist cut down is fine. And then hit go. OK, so it's it's about, it takes about a minute. So we'll come back when it's done. OK, the exports are done. Uh, our video file, unfortunately, is a ProRes. Uh, and uh, that's, that's not going to work for us. We need it in H.265 at this resolution, or H.264, if, uh, if you want. Um, so we're going to have to use FFmpeg to, uh, to encode it, um, or, or something else. You could probably bring it back into, um, into Media Studio and see if it works. I'm not sure whether it would. So here's the soloist cut down, and we'll put that into this FFmpeg command, and then we'll call it soloist cut down H.265. OK, and run that. Okay, the encode finished, and now we have an H.265 version of the soloist cutdown. We'll run FB360 encoder to do the final muxing uh, of the video file, the TBE8 file, and the headlocked file. So we choose Facebook 360 video, and first we'll drag the spatial audio in. You'll notice it's red because it's the wrong format. This is a spatial workstation 8 channel file. Drag the headlocked file into headlocked stereo. 
drag the video into the video uh, area and choose top bottom stereoscopic. Finally do an encode and I will name it uh, soloist cut down muxed. Save, it'll compress that audio, mux it in, and we have our final version here.